Got a bunch of blueberries there. Hey everyone. Right now I'm checking out Tully Lakes Spillway. Right on the border of Athol and Royalston. The border is actually right here, so the spillway would be in Athol, Massachusetts. We're gonna go walk through it and check it out. This dam has not topped since the 80s, but they still do work on it. You can see all kinds of little patches on there, making sure it doesn't start deteriorating. It's not as scary as it looks. It's very gradual. You could actually run up that. Dog is just chewing on a little stick. As long as she doesn't eat rocks. I have some bones like this. Just to keep her occupied. I gotta carry her most of the way. Just a puppy. Isn't too good at walking on a leash yet. Distracted by every little stick. I'm not too terribly worried about ticks in this area. Again, water hasn't been here in decades. And it hasn't rained in such a long time. Not really any moisture for them. You can see all the rocks here, mostly from the winter freeze and thaw cycles. Water getting in the cracks, expanding when it freezes, breaking all this junk free. That's why all these random boulders are out here in the middle. Thought I'd come down here before we get into the middle of the summer because this is very grown in in the summer. It's not too bad right now for June 20th. Bridge looks like it's in pretty good condition. See here we have like a area where it keeps sliding. Got all those tiny little rocks. I came under here a few years ago. Now right here there could be some ticks. There's a little water supply and it hasn't rained in like a month straight. So you know that never dries up, that little trickle. It's actually pretty muddy right here. If I start getting ticks, I'm gonna turn around, but this is pretty much all you're gonna see. As soon as we get down there to the end, you can start walking up to the left or to the right. There's a fence on top of the cliff so nobody falls in. It tells you not to climb over the fence. But there's nothing saying you can't walk down here. Now there's a bunch of mud here. Some rusty metal. I doubt they did any cleaning down here, but last time there was a microwave. There's a frog in there. Let's walk up on top of this and look from above. As you can see here, lots of little patchwork. There must have been little holes and stuff starting. Pretty good condition, but look how high the water has to get for it to actually spill. A lot of areas down here where people play frisbee. Got some blueberries there. Check this out. Like I said, people play frisbee and sometimes it goes down there. Some people are just a little bit too lazy. They have to go right down there to the end. They dug underneath and that was human done. I'd say that's about maybe 50 feet or so, maybe a little more. 
push button to turn on warning lights. Just turn on some lights. Not really a sidewalk here. Bridge has a lot of patchwork too. It's pretty high up. You can see the sign in the middle of the screen that says Royalston. That's the town line right there. We're in Athol right now. We just got a little stairs to get down. That thing doesn't nearly give enough time. You'd have to be running. Those lights shut off like halfway through the system. She is still learning to walk on a leash. Not very good at it yet. She'll run with you a little bit. When I first started, she wouldn't walk on it all, just pulling, resisting. But now she'll follow. And I have to keep bones with me. Give her a treat just to get her away from my pants. She tries to just keep biting the shoelaces and stuff. Last time I came down here, it was pretty frozen. It was ice everywhere. You can see if you walk down to the end of the fence down there, go on and get in there. It's not a good idea to come down here when the ground's not frozen. I just learned you can just get underneath the bridge, then it's a marsh. Unless you carry some boots, that's not gonna make a difference. Still gonna be a lot of ticks. I have yet to get one on me here. All year, I have only got one on me and it was not in this area. Seems to be very few this year. Usually they're everywhere in the spring, especially with the amount of rain we had. There's barely any of them. We had tons of rain in the spring. It hasn't rained now in almost 30 days. Something like that. I'm gonna go show their dam now that's actually holding up water. That dam I was just at is up there. And there's the new dam. Goes all the way up to 58 feet on that scale. Got a lot of nasty stuff built up against it. Mostly pond scum. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Here's another video of this place from a few years back on the top right. Just here checking out this abandoned bridge in Royalston, Massachusetts. A lot of poison ivy here. Let's go check out over here now. The 
top of the bridge doesn't even look that bad, but there's probably damage underneath it. Or they simply didn't have the money to refurbish it, or maybe it wasn't even worth it. Look at that. There's a small dam right there. Looks like a low head dam. Well, it used to be. Looks like they broke it on purpose or blasted it. Like a five minute walk down the street. Caution, water level may rise suddenly and somebody's shoe is on top of the sign. But I came down here because I noticed this channel here and it looks like there's a culvert at the end of it. At least from on top of the bridge it looked that way. Or some type of old canal. Something like that. Let's take a quick look what our situation is. There's a lot of raccoon tracks here in the mud. And this is no good. 